Well, howdy, YouTube. Unky Joe here. Unky Joe's Playhouse today. Look what came in the mail. Well, actually, it came a long, long time ago, but I've just now had time to get to it. So, what are we going to do with this little device? Stay tuned and find out. Now this is really an incredible little board. I'm over here on the Amazon website so you can get a better idea. So uh, you've got a 28-pin Ar Arduino pinout. You've got a 40-pin Raspberry Pi compatible GPIO header. Uh, you have Wi-Fi and a Bluetooth chip. You can take an M2 PCI Express SSD and put it in there, which is what I've done. Uh, power button, DC power jack, two gigabit Ethernet ports. Uh, HDMI connector, two USB type A ports, uh, a USB uh, serial ATA3 data port, and three serial ATA3 power plugs on there. Uh, it also comes with a 64 gig eMMC for the eMMC version. And then over on the right, you have an M2 SATA SSD PCI Express 4G module for cell phones or whatever. Uh, you have a SIM card slot, you have a micro SD card slot, you have USB 3.1 type A, also USB 3.1 type C, so you can get video out of both the HDMI and the USB 3.1 type C. Uh, also has a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. So not only can I can you run Windows on here, and, and you can get a version that comes with Windows 10, uh, without the EMCC plus Windows 10 Enterprise activated, etc. So there's different configurations. Uh, here's the honking heat sink on the bottom of that thing. Uh, and then, uh, so yeah, there are your pinouts for your Arduino and for your uh, Raspberry Pi. Um, and then it tells you what the different processors are on here. They're all the Intel Celeron J4105, which is a quad core burstable up to 2.5 gigahertz. Uh, they all have Wi-Fi 2.4 and 5 and Bluetooth and uh, the fan is on board uh, to that heat sink. Now in addition to that I also got the uh, case for it. So this is the case I purchased for it and it took the computer took about a month to get here because it, it was right at the height of the current crisis and the case took a uh, uh, about two weeks after I ordered the Odyssey, the case came back in stock, and then it took another two weeks. So, the I got the board here one uh, four weeks ago, and I got the case a week after that. So, it took a while to get here. Uh, it looks like they're back in stock now, though. So you can either get them from the Seed website, and that's why I ordered mine through because I didn't want to. You can see the prices are inflated here on Amazon. Even for the case, it's twenty nine ninety. Uh, I say it's inflated. This doesn't include shipping. This includes your. Oh no, there's eighteen ninety shipping on this one, so it might be a better deal to go through here and only pay the smaller shipping fee, because I believe they ship it direct from China. Uh, it's where it's made. It's where it's manufactured. I should stay, say. Now, not only does this work for the Odyssey X86, but it'll work for the Jetson Nano, the Beagle Bone, and the Raspberry Pi. So it's a universal kind of case. It really is a nice case. And we did get the recomputer case because, frankly, it's the only one I could find for the Odyssey. There may be other cases out there now for it, but at the time I was looking, I could only find the one from Seed, and um, it's really well packed, really well made. Um, but there was some confusion as to what this came with as far as storage goes, this Odyssey. So as it turned out, mine came with no storage, but no worries. That's what NVMEs are for. And so we just popped on to Amazon and ordered a 256 gig NVMe drive that is supported. There's a slot right there for the NVMe drive. And it has a SATA connector. In fact, it's inside the box. But... Uh, this thing was really packaged really well. It was really nice uh, to open it up and, and actually get it assembled. So 
let me show you what the assembled product looks like now here's the assembled product it's put all together and it's you see it's plugged in and I haven't secured the battery yet I need to but you can stand it up on its side uh, you can see the connectors here it's got an SD card USB 3 USB C auxiliary the ventilation is down here uh, and then more yeah I can't show that to you Give me just a second some more uh, two it has dual WAN uh, LAN ports on the back power adapter right now it's in power saving mode HDMI and then it's got the USB plugs here and then right here on this side it's got a little little button that you push and then the cover comes off you can lift the cover off right here and then there's my NVMe drive in there like I said I need to secure the battery I just haven't done it yet there's just some double-sided tape you take off and stick on there's the NVMe so right now I've got windows on it so I could put another SATA SSD in here I could also put a uh, a cellular module in here that it, it's got the GPIO headers etc it's really a nice little board not cheap this board is not cheap at all this board is almost two hundred dollars and once you get the NVMe drive in there it's over two hundred dollars so plus you have the, case, the cost of the case on here etc so you're looking at the two two hundred and thirty dollar range for this unit for what we're going to use it for now right now I've got windows on it and I'm going to show you the test results with windows but ultimately this is going to be our PFSense firewall that's the whole reason I got it this is the SATA uh, adapter so that you can plug a regular uh, SATA drive in but uh, and this was so easy to put together there was I mean there was actually nothing to it But yeah, it's it's got some. Uh, so there's your assembly manual. It's pretty simple. It came with a bit to install it, and look at the foam insert. Yeah, I know it's just a foam insert. But man, that's uh, that's some quality. Uh, and then all, everything that was in there was packed in there. So you can see it's a foam insert. So they spent quite a bit of money on this shit just on this cardboard box and these foam inserts you know I'm sure it's not cheap now I know there are already pre-made items out there for PF sense in fact uh, the PF sense website even has their own I think list of computers that, that they support PF sense on uh, the small single board computers but I like the idea of this single board computer in fact if we come over here to the PF sense website um, you can see the uh, net NetGate uh, has the appliances, so they have all kinds of appliances depending on how, what size of a PFSense firewall you want. But let's just take the the SG1100 and let's see the cost of that. Uh, so yeah, their base price is $179, and that's for the USA plug, no mounting kit. One year warranty, four to five business days to build and test it, get it out to you. Yeah, technical specs. So it's a Marvel Armada dual core. Ours is a quad core. This has got one gig of RAM. Ours has got eight, four. Mini PCI Express slot. USB 3 to uh, micro USB. It consumes about 3.48 watts at idle. And has a one year warranty. Now, will that handle, the question is, is will it handle the throughput uh, of a gigabit? And I think this one, if you turn all the stuff on, like uh, DPI and packet inspection, that kind of thing, that it actually slows it down, and they would actually recommend the SG3100. But you're going up in price, and there you're going to an ARM Cortex, Two, still two CPU cores, still only two gig of of RAM. So I think it's more important to have the the RAM uh, for reporting and whatnot. Most of my clients want reporting, so you could go this route and buy the NetGate appliances. But you can see I've I've paid 180 for the yeah. Let's figure I paid 190 for the board, and then I got the case for 20 bucks. So that's two hundred dollars plus about thirty dollars shipping, plus an NVMe drive. So I've I've got I'm all in about two hundred and sixty bucks for my PFSense firewall. 
that I'm going to build out of this. Yeah, Protectly makes uh, firewall appliances boxes too. So we could come over here to Protectly. And I believe you can just run whatever the hell you want on these things. And so, yeah, a four port Protectly. Uh, so here's an Intel dual core up to 8 gig of DDR3. Starts at one. So look, right here, I could have built one from Protectly. With a J8800 or 3060 dual core processor, 8 gig of RAM. Um, yeah, up to 8 gig. How much RAM is on here, though, folks? Tell me that. 10 watts. And there's some add ons. Let's see. Yeah, it's starting at 149. Yeah, turbo to 5.8. Let's configure and buy. Uh, yeah, see, that's with no memory in it. Once you put 8 gig, well, let's compare. Let's do 4 gig. Let's do uh, let's do a 240 gig Kingston, because that's about what I paid. Well, we'll do it protectly. Uh, don't need Wi-Fi or don't need LTE. So, yeah, all that brings that up to 227. Uh, $227 and we're still one core short and it won't do our Duino and it won't do you know not that I care but later if I want to use this for something else it'd be nice to know I could do that um, this is more built like a, a notebook computer but uh, yeah I could see the 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 beauty of doing that let's let's look at one that's configured with a quad core processor like ours is ours is a quad core right let's just make sure pretty sure it is let's see yeah it's a quad core 1.5 burstable to 2.5 so let's try to find something that's uh and what model processor was that go look j4105 so it's probably uh, these are probably have a newer processor on here but let's uh, let's get this one configured. J1900. That's probably configured. That's probably about the same. Uh, so we'll put four gig. Uh, we'll put it uh, a 240 gig Protectly. Okay, so about 267 for a similarly spec. But uh, Protectly, that's a good deal. We're gonna have to get one of those in here, one of those lower end models, and try it and see what kind of throughput we're getting. But uh, yeah, that's not bad at all compared to what we got put into uh, into the Odyssey. I just kind of like the Odyssey better. It gives me more choices to do stuff with it in the future. So just uh, to get some specifications out of this unit, I put Windows 10 Pro on there. And these were my results with uh, CB uh, Cinebench uh, R15. I could not do the OpenGL uh, because it's not supported on that box, but I could do the uh, CB tests and, and we got about 243 CBs and you can compare that with uh, uh, an Il Intel Core i3 and see the difference there. And our Cinebench uh, R20 results. And here is our CPU Z report on that processor. And here are the disk transfer rates to the NVMe SSD. Quite a bit better than you would get with a standard SSD, which is why I went with that. Not that speed really matters on this box. I mean, it is going to be running PFSense. It's not that taxing. Uh, this would be better if you're running Windows 10, which we are. But uh, you can see we're getting about uh, triple the speeds we would get with a regular SATA SSD drive. Now, I didn't really see the need in putting this computer under load, even though I did it. I didn't record it, I'm sorry to say, the ADA results, but I ran it overnight and it was fine. Uh, but, you know, the, here are the CPU temperature averages, and I think we had the CPU at about 14% when I took the snapshot with hardware monitor, so your mileage might vary. And no benchmark would be complete without a heaven benchmark. So, you can see our FPS was 11.2, our score was 283, no graphics uh, behemoth for sure. And our minimum and maximum frames per second were 5.2 and 25.7.
So uh, you won't be doing any modern day gaming on this thing. Let's just put it that way. Well, there you go, YouTube. That's it. Yeah. No, we're not installing PFSense on it today. We're going to save that for another video. So I will be doing a video on installing PFSense on this so that once I have it down to a pat, I can show it to you and you guys can do it. So smash the like button if you liked the video. Leave your comments down in the comments section. Donate if you're so inclined. We take PayPal, Patreon, and we have the YouTube join function. You can be a member of our YouTube club for only $2 a month recurring membership. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and make sure you hit that notification bell. Tell your friends about it. Come back and see us again. And don't forget, we'll see you on the other side.